for the build overview I'm going to show you a rundown of the specifications particularly the equipment or the uh, electronics that have installed on this uh, FPV plane and let's get started in front I have here a 3d printed uh, nose mount specifically used for FPV this is a uh, printed on PLA filament and this nose cone ducks directly on the carbon spar that came along with this XCAV talon. This nose cone connects uh, directly through these spars uh, for which uh, this uh, stock clear dome is connected so this is hot swappable you can replace it easily if wanted so if I'm using a gimbal, I can just snap this on or remove it for direct FPV using this type of canopy. And going here, we have here a pitot tube and a 3D printed pitot tube mount where your air speed sensor is located inside this fuselage on this side, inner portion. On this side, we have a dipole for 1.3 gigahertz this came from fpb pro manufacturer of the dragon link so this is a good quality antenna or one of the best antennas out there okay i have added this xcav decal and on the other side of course the talon decal i love the minimalistic approach on designing or adding decals on this plane so if you can see there are some red stickers ultra light or ultra thin stickers that are reflective which will help me in of course uh flying when uh flying light, light of sight on this plane so on this portion i added a standoff along with the screw so it will be easier to open or close it by hand without using any special tool on this part i added a clear tape which will help me in uh, lifting up this canopy uh, sorry it's quite difficult to lift it by one hand okay there it goes okay so this is your shortened screw uh, on this part I added a uh, two pieces of nylon sticks from toothpick which is also the same material or toothpick component that is installed here for single piece locking on this side of the fuselage okay. okay let me lift this up on this underside of the fuselage I have a 3d printed front skid in as a replacement to the front nose wheel which is a non steerable type by the way so I intended to just uh, belly land it and with this uh, 3D printed part, this will be absorbed, absorbing a lot of impact on this section of the fuse of the skid. And on the other side, I have uh, put the CG sticker, which is around 90 to 92 mm from the leading edge of the wing. Uh, this CG is somehow uh, perfect for my setup. Uh, this servo is a high-tech HS82MG analog metal gear servo which I ordered from Redimid RC uh, as you can also see there's a layer of fiber tape that runs along this leading edge of the wing and also underneath the wing tips this will protect it from uh, scratches or damage on landing um, I, ha I use the stock push rods that came along with the XAAB talent kit and also this uh, linkage which is also from the XAAB talent kit but the control horns are dobro with back plates if you can see this there's a back plate for the, the control horn on the other side which will help secure this control horn on this control surface and the control surfaces are attached via nylon pinned hinges so this will uh, facilitate easier movement re uh, reducing stress on the servo links as well as on the servo itself 
on the back part of the XAV talon uh, I have your 3D printed landing skid um, which I forgot the link from the Thingiverse but this is a good one printed on ABS plastic and here we also have your, the, the same control horns that I've used on the main wing control surface the servos that I've used here are for the VTL are Emax ES08MA2 Metal Gear Analog Servos The V-tail on this XAV Talon uh, is designed to be removable using uh, nylon stand-ups that I've acquired from Banggood uh, This is a copy of the setup of the Aeromapper Talon where they have this removable V-tail So this uh, V-tail Surfaces or parts are not glued into the fuselage, but rather uh, there is this nylon plate connecting this tail to the fuse. Uh, inside the fuselage, there is a support plate also made from nylon, uh, which holds this or secures this portion. Up here, we have this Dragon Link UHF uh, dipole antenna, which I bought from fpbpro.com. Uh, the lower portion of this dipole extends down here to this lower fin of the XAV talon. Uh, the, the motor that I have used for this XAV talon is a Cobra 3520 820 kV motor um, mounted on this 3D printed motor mount which I designed specifically for this size of motor. Uh, this is already available uh, at thingiverse.com. I have already uploaded it on my collections there. And the propeller that I'm using here is an APC uh, 12 by 8 uh, electric pusher prop. Uh, but I also have 12 by 10 and 13 by 6.5 APC props. And inside, we have here the Pixel 2.1 cube. Uh, on an Intel compatible Intel Edison compatible carrier board. Um, underneath we have here the ESC Habiwing uh, fly fan 60 amps ESC with that. This is version 4.2 the Habiwing fly fan. Inside they have here the Dragon Link micro receiver that I acquired from fpbpro.com and the GPS on this XAB Talon is installed right below this section um, this is a Kuab GPS M810 which is compatible for on this uh, Pixhawk 2.1 system uh, the Pixhawk is powered by two independent power sources uh, one is a uh, backup supply the 2200 mAh Lipa pack which is also powering my FPB system so this is a 3S, 3S LiPo and the other one is a 4S main flight battery which is a 6600 multi-star LiPo so we have independent power supplies for this big uh, one, one is connected through this power brick which came with the big sock and the other one is a uh, Cryus power module which came from my old Pixhawk 1 system and on this side we have the buzzer the I2C USB uh, extension for the Pixhawk I2C splitter 12 volt regulator for the gimbal in the future and also here we have the digital I2C airspeed sensor on this side I have here the minimum OSD, micro minimum OSD type, and the connector for the VTX power supply. I'm using a 1 watt Lumet video transmitter, which is uh, located or mounted inside the fuselage, aligned with this air intake of the XUAV talon. So we have here optimal cooling for the VTX. So that's it. This is my build. Thank you for watching.